It is a self-balancing cube measuring 15 centimeters each and uh, it balances with the help of three reaction wheels which are mounted on three BLDC motors which are controlled via a microcontroller board uh, which uh, gets its feedback from an inertial measurement unit uh, which is MPU 650 and the cube balances uh, itself, it can balance on its edge or it can balance on a corner. These uh, uh, reaction wheels, uh, uh, the, they generate a torque by spinning at uh, very high velocities and the this direction that they move in, uh, the, the object moves in the opposite direction. The cube has started balancing on its edge and now the other two reaction wheels will pump up and it will start balancing on, on its corner. The inertial measurement unit which is MPU6250 will give constant feedback to the cube and it will uh, adjust itself uh, uh, when, uh, uh, accordingly with any error that comes. In the competition, we have to work hard. It was it's a seven-month competition, and we there have been days when we were working continuously for 12-13 hours a day. Uh, there were sleepless nights and all of those things. But uh, in the end, it will all be worth it. Especially when you come here for the internship, every day is worth it. When we started balancing it, we faced a very simple issue that the angles which we were getting overlapped and it becomes practically impossible to separate them. This phenomenon is called gimbal locking. So to overcome that we had to uh, study for a week about another topic which is called quaternions. It is a number system but uh, it is representing three dimensions in four dimensions. So that went uh, just to small the small problem we had to make uh, study a whole new complex thing. And that uh, was uh, very uh, beneficial for us since uh, uh, quaternions are used everywhere uh, these days. When we try to balance the cube on the corner, so like everything you, uh, for that, uh, everything should be very precise. Any small change in dimension could not uh, balance the cube. Even uh, the smallest of errors can create a big uh, uh, defect in the whole design. For example, the 3D printed uh, reaction wheel which we are using, we mount it and remove it every time so due to the wear which causes, the wheel starts wobbling after some time and this creates a necessary rotation in the cube. When the session starts you think that what uh, they will teach and uh, if, like every second in that session was uh, valuable. We started the session on dot uh, like 4.30 the session starts. So as soon as the clock strike uh, 4.30 he started uh, writing on the board and uh, the topic of the session and all. And he also addressed when students came, la came late that these uh, habits will not uh, help them for the future. He very kindly addressed them. When we woke up on Sunday, it, like we were feeling like let's rest today. We were working for two weeks earlier continuously. We didn't know it was a nine hour session. So that session went continuously for nine hours, but not a single second in that session was, we felt like it was boring. It was so interactive session. It was so like, I didn't attend a session like this in my whole life. Once you are at ground zero and you experience the atmosphere that they work in, so you, the respect for them uh, multiplies, you know. So like uh, we were in the submarine and uh, the temperature inside the submarine was somewhat 40 degrees or something. And they work for months inside, the, they are completely submerged in water for months uh, and that's their uh, life. All this they do for our uh, nation, so that really inspires us to, you know, to do something for our nations by ourselves as well. So there were 26 uh, projects including our own and uh, 70 interns working in four rooms that were like connected with each other. So the environment there was uh, quite lively I would say. When uh, test, uh, final testing were done, everyone celebrated for uh, like collaborative success. Like if one project uh, uh, successfully runs, everyone is happy for them. And so the environment was very helpful and uh, it was learning oriented like everyone helped each other grow. When you work in this environment, it's not like you're working on just a single project. It's like you work on all the projects. Uh, like we were in a room where there were multiple projects. One was humanoid, one was origami electronics. When they were in a problem, it was not like they were alone. Everyone uh, comes to them uh, and helps them. I can guarantee you there is no other internship where you will make a self-balancing queue because the applications of that project are very specific. Its main use and very important use comes when you are dealing with uh, bodies that uh, you make to travel in outer space. So that uh, 
with the control torque and that control system thing is useful for satellites to uh, manage their orientation so uh, many many like 20 25 projects uh, all are unique in their own ways all are futuristic so you get to learn a lot a lot lot of things like that that you won't learn in any other internship